Hi everyone, this is the video for the first violin part to Ashgrove. So if you have the other violin part that I handed out, the second violin part, you'll want to check that video because this is the first violin part. So the first thing I'd like you to do, check your strings. If they're um, a little bit out of tune, that's okay. If you notice one's really out of tune, you can grab a parent or guardian, an adult, Go back to my staff web pages, and on there is, uh, in the orchestra tab, there's the link with a PowerPoint to help you figure out how to tune. Um, if you can't figure it out, it is challenging. We never talked about it in school. Um, that's totally fine. You can still practice with an out-of-tune instrument. You'll practice like the muscle memory. Might not sound that good, but you'll still be getting that muscle memory. So, um Hopefully a lot of your tuning issues can be solved by using the fine tuners down here. You only really want to use these big pegs if the string is so loose you it doesn't even make a sound. If you do use that, always have a parent or guardian use it, never use it yourself, and have them turn the peg very slowly. It's very fragile. You don't want the string to break. So um, if your instrument is out of tune, you can check there to see if you can try to get it in tune. If you can't, that's totally fine and we'll continue. So I want us to focus on um, the first line of Ash Grove. So the, the tricky part is getting these notes in tempo. Now I know that we've, we've, we've worked through this and we can play each note. I know you guys are getting a lot better at reading the notes, but our eighth notes a lot of the time are too slow. So we need to speed it up to match everyone else. So we're actually going to start backwards. We're going to start in measure four, which is the, the measure that is all eighth notes in it. And remember in this song, we have low twos on the A string, C natural. We don't have C sharp. So low two. And remember a low two is when your second finger is right next to your first finger instead of on the tape. It is squished like that. So my turn first. I'm going to do it slowly right now, and then we'll speed it up. It goes A, one, low two, one, A, D, three. Make sure you lift up that elbow to get to the third finger on the D string. Let's try that together. It's that, that slow tempo right now. Get ready? So one, two, ready, play. A, one, low two, one, A, D, three. Let's do that one more time. One, two, ready, play. A, one, low two, one, A, D, three. We're going to do that measure. We're going to try it a little bit faster. One, two, ready, play. A, one, low two, one, A, D, three. Let's do that again. One, two, ready, play. A, one, low two, one, A, D, three. We're going to go a little bit faster. I'm going to play the example first. So right now, just listen. I'll count myself in. Listen. You can move your fingers while I play. One and two and three and. We're going to try it at that tempo. One and two and three and. Can we do that again? Bow on A string. One and two and three and. So pause this video, practice that on your own a couple times. So that tempo that we just played at, it will not be faster than that. This song is not a fast song. That is how fast you will have to play. So if you can get it up to that, you will be all set. We're going to add measure three to it. So we're going to play measures three and four. Notice measure three starts on an up bow, so you'll want to be closer to the tip. 
My turn first. One, two, three. Can we try that? First finger on the A string, B, up bow. I'll count us in. One, ready, play. One, three, three, A, one, low two, one, A, three. Pause this video, play that by yourself. Okay, now we're gonna look at measure two by itself. This one has that slur in there, right? So a slur is two notes on one bow. In this case, two notes on one bow. My turn first. I wanna just look at measure two. We start with down bow, three on D or G. Three, one, three, two. Look, I got all the way to my tip there. Watch my bow. The thing about slurs is you need, a lot of the time, the more bow you use, the better the sound it will come out. Can we try measure two? All together, just measure two. Here we go. One, two, three. Three, one, three, two. And remember low twos. Let's do it one more time. Three on D, down bow. One, two, Three, three, one, three, low two. Okay, let's add in our pickup note, our open D. So that is an up bow. Here we go. Open D, just measure one and two only. I'll give us one, two, and then we come in. One, two, two, three, one, three, low two. Okay, we're gonna add measure three to that. Measures one, two, and three. Open D. One, two, sorry, <laughs> I'll give you two beats. One, two, D, three, one, three, low two, one, three, three. And now let's add in measure four. We're gonna try that whole first line. Bow on the D string. I'll give you two beats. One, two, D, three, one, three, low two, one, three, three, A, one, low two, one, A, three. All right, I'd like you to try playing that first line by yourself. All right, stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.